well. Hello there. I'm totally thinking about making this my all-time introduction. <laughs> Today I will show you how I do my Aura Sing makeup. First, I'm putting my hair up in a really high ponytail with several strong hair bands. The ponytail has to hold up the hairpiece afterwards. I braid the ponytail very tight and secure it with another elastic, so I get a strong hair loop. I put on a good amount of styling gel to get all my hair lay as flat as possible for the bald cap. Now comes the most difficult part, putting on the hairpiece and the bald cap. Actually, this is my hairpiece. figure out where I have to cut holes into the belt cap. I first put it on and mark where the hole for the ponytail should be and where I have to cut it in the front. I'm the master of pretty faces during this whole process. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> After cutting the bald cap with normal scissors, I put it over my hairpiece and then put the hairpiece around my ponytail. This really is not so easy. I secure everything with hair clips. A good amount of work goes into this straightening the hairpiece process. So this is what takes the most time actually in this whole thing. Then I figure out where my antenna has to go. Cut another hole into, into the bolt cap, push the antenna through and then pull it in its correct position. Because of the holes, the bolt cap has widened a little and I have to retrim the edge. I also cut out the shapes for my ears. My bald caps always come with a very clear instruction, so if you wonder how that works, just look on your bald cap manual. I use the sealer from Creolan to glue the bald cap down all around the edges. In this video I used mustix or spirit gum first, but maybe I did something wrong because that just wouldn't dry and wouldn't hold the bald cap in place. You'll see it later when I have to redo the step. Next time I would directly use the sealer. For the back I need some help, because I'm not fond of cutting with scissors when I don't see anything. After everything is glued down to my liking and as crumple free as possible, I start covering my eyebrows. I have explained it in my Ahsoka makeup tutorial. 
I use eyebrow plastic and sealer from Creolon here. So you basically just brush the warmed up plastic onto your eyebrows and when everything is covered and lays as flat as possible, you cover it with a sealer. I go over everything with concealer and powder two or three times to make it fade into my skin color. When my eyebrows are gone, I can start with the fun part. The making of or a sing from my own features. After shaking my body paint very thoroughly, I use a plain makeup brush to cover my whole face and neck. Everything that won't be hidden under Aura's bodysuit. The white paint I use for Aura is not as opaque as the orange paint I use for Ahsoka. It's the same brand, but I don't know why. Some spots need several layers to be as white as others. You can see me pulling the edges of the bolt cup up again, wiping off the mustics and using the sealer to glue it down instead. That happens in cosplay in the knife. Sometimes the things sometimes the things don't go as planned. For contouring I use a dark grey eyeshadow. As you can see I apply very heavy and kind of rough contour shapes. But in my experience the camera and the lighting during photo shoots with filter are most of it. So I really go heavy here. It just looks better afterwards. I contour my chest area, collarbone, neck, chin, jaw and temples with heavy dark color and blend it in afterwards. contour my nose. Aura has a very thin, long and pointy nose. I try to recreate it as, as good as I can. I smudge the hard lines down on the side of my nose to make it look thin and long. I'm not sure if Aura actually has eyebrows, but I think it looks better with some thin brows that I draw on with black Kajal liner. I'm actually very fond of Aura's eye makeup because you can let out all your smoky eye dreams. <laughs> I take a black eyeshadow and just pack it in. I also draw a big wing at the outer corner. After blending everything together, I use some white kayak to make my eyes look even bigger. I apply some mascara before putting on my fake lashes. I use magnetic lashes this time, also from KISS. I love the magnetic lashes because they are so easy to apply, but unfortunately those are not very sturdy. 
Last thing are the lips. I start by lining them with a dark grey eyeliner because I don't have a lip liner in the right color. I try to recreate Aura's etched lip shade here. Then I go over it with a, with a black Kaya to adjust the color and then put on some dark brown lipstick. Add a little bit of contouring around the lips, some touch-ups here and there. Oh, and I forgot to film the fixing spray part. Of course, I spray everything with fixing spray to make it last for the whole day, or the whole photo shoot. And look, I'm Aura Singh, deadliest bounty hunter in the galaxy. And also the prettiest. And this is after the photo shoot. And you can see the back of the bald cap has come loose. But I think that's no problem, because the hair mostly covers that up anyways. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it! I added some photos to show you the full costume in the end. Please like and subscribe and if you want to see more, check out my Instagram. And if you want to support me, visit my Patreon for even more content. See you next time!